This is just like bingo where you have to get five in a row. So you can do five this way, this That's way. That's free space. Yep, or you can go across on an angle. Okay, so you have to get five in a row. The spaces are not filled in yet. So instead of putting a chip on them, you're gonna fill them in. So we're gonna roll a dice. And I got one and three. So one third. So I'm gonna find a spot that's split up into thirds. Can you guys see one Found on your it. board? On your board, show me a spot that's... Found it. Good, Jay. That's quarters, I want thirds. Good, so you'd color one of them and then that would be already done as if it had a chip on it. And you keep going till you have five in a row. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. Three quarters. Good job. Everybody find something that's split into quarters and fill in three of them. Lily, are you coloring yours? Yeah. Good. Okay. One quarter. Okay, one quarter right here. Look, look, one quarter. Mm-hmm. I actually did this. All right, one quarter. Wow. Two quarters. Okay, so I have a question. Two quarters is the same as something else. Does anybody remember? Ha a half. Good job. Okay. So you can either color one half or two quarters. You decide. I'm coloring this one the same. Okay, so two quarters is the same as one half. Jay, what are you gonna do? Two quarters or one half? Oh, you're gonna color three six? That's the same too. All right. Two quarters is the same as? One half. One half or three sixths. Good job. This. All right, do it. What's half of six? Uh, three. Good job. One second. Half. What are you doing, Lily? Mm -hmm. Three strong. Draw it. Three quarters. So I could also oh, do a half, I right? almost won. No, three quarters is not the same as a half. Look, I'll show you. So three quarters is this, and a half, this. So two quarters is the same for half. That's why we've been coloring in two quarters for half. But three quarters is more than half. Two six. six. Two six. And these are just like pizzas, Mom, right? <laughs> they are. One two. Which is? One half. One half. Alright, so remember what's the same as a half? How many sixths is that? Three. How half many quarters is that? Two. Okay, so you can color in one half. Three, six, or two, four. That's right, Mommy got the first line. We're gonna keep playing. Everybody who gets a line gets two chocolate chips, okay? You guys wanna do that? Six, two. No, you can't have six twos. That's an improper fraction. A proper fraction, the smaller one is always the numerator. What if they're both six? Well then how much would that be? If you have six out of six. Uh -huh. whole. A whole, that's right, Joey. Swatch. Six out of six. One out of one, what's that? A hole. You can color a whole circle, or you can color in a whole one of these. Or you can color in, that's right, Jay. Or you can color in a whole one of these. That's right. What are you going to color in, Mom? I don't know yet. Two out of six. Two out of five. That's right, so two. Fifth. No. If you cut a pizza up into four pieces and you cut a pizza up into five pieces, pieces are not gonna be the same size, right? There, now I can do it. <laughs> You're silly. More chicken, more chicken. <laughs> Roll, Joey. <laughs> One out of three is the same as? What are these? Six. Let's see, now I need, just need one more spot. Good job. Two fifths. No one's gonna win yet. Is that what this is, Mama? It's some paint that you did on the table. I don't know. Bingo. Let's see who's gonna get another line. Two halves. How much is two halves? A whole. This. One whole. Yep, or that. You can color in that you can color in anything you want actually. You can color in a whole one of anything. Cause look, one whole Bingo! 
Did you get bingo? Bingo! Good job, guys! That's right. One half. Go for it. Bingo. 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 Let's all go get chocolate. So I get 15 chocolates. Why? Because three times five is? Three times five is 15. That's right. Let's go get chocolates. So for this activity, I found these printouts online, which I will post a link to below. And then we just use crayons and we actually use these fraction towers in order to help us visualize the equivalent fractions on the board, which you don't have to do. It's kind of a little more advanced. You can just stick with the same fractions. And then we just used a pair of dice. 